this video, we will continue with transforming a relationship to linear form. You will find this on page 4 to 6 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. And now we are going to focus on the power function. Can you recall? Let me just take you back. We did the exponential function and there's a power function. The power function the x is in the base. In the exponential function, the x is in the index. Okay, so let's just go on. Let's look at this example. The variables x and y satisfy the equation y equals k x, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I can also see better. Okay, there it is. Uh, k x to the power of p, where k and p are constants. The graph of lin y against lin x is a straight line passing through the points. This and this, the two points, as shown in the diagram. Find the values of k and p correct to two decimal places. Now remember what I said. As soon as you see somewhere a lin, you just work with lin and not with log. Okay, with a base of e. So basically, I'm taking and I put lin on both sides. And then I'm going to use my law. So I, this is going to be plus. Then I bring this one down. So it's going to be p lin x. And now I can move it. So the one with the x stands there. And this one stands there. So this is y. This is m. This is x. And this is c. So y equals lin y. Okay, this is what I just showed you. This is um, uh, this is x, this is m, and this is c. Now, use the information on the straight line graph to determine the constant k and p. Now, what I usually say in this case, it's going to be... Okay, let, let's first look, look and then I'll tell you. Okay, so use the information on the straight line graph to determine the constant k and p. So, m is equal to p. M is equal. So basically, I can just say that the value of P is 1,35. Okay. Because that, but don't forget, where did I get this 1.35? I must work it out. How do I get M? I take the two points and I work out the gradient. The difference in Y over the difference in X. And that, and this is correct to three significant figures, it's 1,35. Okay, or two decimal places, but it's also three significant figures. And then I take the equation and I substitute one of the points in and m because now it's not crossing as I showed you the alternative in the previous example. And then I get c is 1,96. Okay, and it's always better that you at least make it to four or five significant figures. Okay, so, but don't forget that we start here. c equals lin k. Now I substitute, substitute, and then I go from lin or log form to exponential form. And did you see, at least take it to one significant figure more, but two, in this case, I took it up to that to play safe. And then at the end, I could correct it to, did they ask? Oh, they asked correct to two decimal places. And that is the reason why I correct. Actually, very, very easy. Okay, okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. The variables x and y satisfy the equation y equals a multiply b and then it's lin x where a and b are constants. The graph of lin y against lin x is a straight line passing through the two points as shown in the diagram. Find the values of a and b correct to Two significant figures. Always underline that. Okay. Now, let's start. This is number two. First, write down your curve. Y equals A times B lin x. Can I just say this to you? This was the curve. After it was reduced or transformed to a straight line, this is the graph. So, this is not the graph of, this is not the graph of the curve. It's the graph after it was transformed. Okay, but let's start. Let's put lin. Why do I put lin? Because I see somewhere lin, and I just go with lin on both sides. Yeah. 
plus len b len x. Okay, let's just bring it to the front. Okay, now this one is actually going to stand here, so it's going to be len x. I, I'm using the power law, then it's len b plus len a. Can I can I just show you quickly this? This is for me very important. I'm just going to quickly put this on Okay. So this is going to be y. Don't forget, this is going to be x. This is going to be m. And this is going to be c. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this data from the graph to find two things. I want to find the gradient always, and I always want to find the value of c. That is the two things that I'm going to find. So basically, I'm just going, I'm just going to put it here before I continue. Actually, I just want to put it here on the side. I will know. So take your two points. What is your two points? Let's just write it down. Um, I'm going to write it down. It's going to be 5.9 and it's going to be 11.008 and it's going to be 2.2 and it's going to be 4.908. Okay, this is going to be x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's first find the value of m. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So the first thing, okay, in the place of y2, I put 4.908. Okay. Just want to see if it's a point. The point didn't come out there. Okay. Minus, in the place of 11.008, Divide x2, 2.2 2 minus 5.9. I just put the small one, so we will just work with negative, but it will uh, end up in a positive. So 4.908 minus 11.008 equals, divide bracket, 2.2 2 minus 5.9, close the bracket, equals. Okay, and don't forget, if you simplify that, that you always do it a little bit more, or that you use the value, I can just see, okay, I'm just going to use it, 1, 6, 4, 8, 6, 4, I think if, um, 6, 4, okay, then it was 8, 6, I think that is definitely enough to be accurate, 8, 6, okay, then I must still find the value of C. Now, how do I find the value of C? I'm just going to fill it in. Um, um, let's just go for it. Yes, make a double point. Then it's Y equals MX plus C. In the place of Y, um, I think I'm going to use this one. It's a bit more simple. So it's going to be um, um, in the place of Y2. Oh, I, I see. Yes, it, I'm going to use this one. I cannot use this one, 0.2. So it's going to be 4.908, and then it's that 1.648646, and then it's x. Okay, I, I didn't put in x. Let me just put in x quickly. Let's just move it. And then I put x, 2.2, and then I say plus c. Okay. And now I'm going to work it out. So this I'm going to multiply and subtract. So it's actually going to be 4.908 minus, and then bracket, 1.6486486 uh, multiply 2.2, close the bracket, equals. And the value of C, and again I'm going to um, approximate it at least to 4 or 5, so 28, I think I could, uh, 097. Definitely that's going to be enough. Okay, and then I continue with my question. I say, the first one I'm going to do, I want to find this one, remember, and this one. And I have M and I have C now. 
So I start and I say lin B is equal to M. So a lin B is equal and M is that 1.64 Eight six four eight six. So that is remember it's e, so it's e to the power one point six four eight six four eight six, and that's equal to b. Okay. So then I'm just going to quickly use that question. I'm just going. Then it shift e. And it's uh, 1.648486 equals. And if I approximate it now to two significant figures, so therefore B is equal to 5.2. Okay, that will be my value of B, 5.2. And now I must still find my value of A. Okay. So I'm going to say lin A, and that's equal to C. And then I'm going to put in C, and that's 1.28097. And remember that's E, so I'm going to do the swap going from lin form to exponential form. So 1.28097, oh, sorry, let's just... Get that correct. 28097, and that's equal to A. So then I'm just going to press on my calculator. Shift E, 1.28097 equals. And then I just move up, and I say, therefore, a is equal to 3.6. Correct to two significant figures. And you are correct. So you, you can just, you don't even have to do so many, say to five or six, then your answer will be correct, your final answer. That's how you do.